Now let's talk to Kabe Gallimpour, Vice President of International Strategies at the Centre for Climate and Energy Solutions. Kabe, welcome back. Uh, we talked yesterday. Uh, you were in the COP final plenary um, session. So um, what is it? Success? COP out? Fudge? Um, how, do you, how do you see this? Well, I think it's it's quite extraordinary that we managed to get the package of the decisions that we did. And as your correspondent was just alluding to, there was this reference to the transition away from fossil fuels. Coming into the COP, we didn't even have a draft text at all. So to go from uh, essentially a blank sheet of paper to coming out with a, a decision that runs to over 20 pages in the time that we had is, is a, re a remarkable achievement. In terms of success, as, as, as again, as your correspondent said, some are saying it's too weak, some are uh, maybe feeling that it's a little bit too strong. They would have uh, preferred emphasis in other parts of the text. But I think the real moment of truth will arrive in about a year's time when all countries are expected to put their new climate targets on the table informed by what's happened in this global stock take at COP28. So I think that the 1.5 degrees limit of the Paris Agreement is still within reach. I think the outcome from this, which was the guiding star of the COP presidency, to keep 1.5 within reach is still possible. But I think it's how countries respond to the outcome of COP28 next year in preparation for the tabling of climate commitments in 2025, which will be really important. The words are fuzzy, aren't they? Critics will say the phrase is and press releases a compromise to keep everyone on side. It's been called a, a historic deal. In hard terms, will it mean the eventual end of fossil fuels and if so when yes it's as you say it's a compromise it's over 190 parties that have to come together and reach consensus and that inevitably means that words have to be used to find the way forward again as your uh, correspondent said everyone had been looking for the words phase out but in the end a different form of words was found that essentially means the same thing the UN Secretary General today said that the end of fossil fuels is inevitable. The real question is whether it will happen in time to ensure that we stay within the 1.5 degrees Celsius limit of the Paris Agreement. And that remains to be seen. Well, look, um, next we, we, we look ahead to COP29 in Azerbaijan. The caravan moves on, of course. I mean, is everybody, you think, going to be kicked uh, screaming to another reluctant conclusion, or do you sense that uh, governments will accelerate uh, their climate change policy? Well, this was a, a particularly complicated and uh, agenda-packed COP because it had so many things that had to be dealt with, which was mandated from the time of the Paris Agreement. So in that sense, it's been very intense. Next year, will be the focus will be much narrower on something called the new collective quantified goal on finance, which is essentially what will be the successor to this well-known 100 billion US dollars a year. Uh, that's due to be reviewed and scaled up. So I think that's going to be by far the main focus of attention in Azerbaijan. And while the politics around that are going to be difficult in terms of managing the agenda and being focused, I think it's going to be uh, a, a much more, uh, well, a, a much less complicated COP to deliver in terms of logistics and moving parts. Kabe, good to talk to you again. Thanks for coming on the programme. Kabe Gallenpour, Vice President of International Strategies at the Centre for Climate and Energy Solutions.